In this example, we are given an arithmetic sequence with a first term of minus 2 and a fourth term of 16. The nth term is 11,998. Find the common difference in part A. So, since you know that the first term is negative 2, and then you don't know the second term, you don't know the third term, and the fourth term is 16, you can think about that logically, that we are adding d once, twice, three times. Therefore, negative 2 plus 3 times the common difference d will equal 16. Add 2 to both sides, 3d equals 18. Divide both sides by 3, d equals 6, completing part A. So the common difference is 6. In part B, we are asked to find the value of n. We now know that the nth term, 11,998, equals, from the formula booklet, the first term, negative 2, plus n minus 1. Our goal is to find n. We don't know what it is yet. We're looking for the nth term and times d, the common difference, which we found in part a to be 6. Add 2 to this side, we get 12,000 equals, expand the brackets, 6n minus 6. Actually, let's do this a little bit differently. I just saw an easier way. n minus 1 times 6. Divide both sides by 6. n minus 1 equals, 6 goes into 12 two times, so into 12,000, 2,000 times. Add one to both sides, and that gives us that n equals 2,001, meaning that the 2,001st term in this arithmetic sequence is 11,998. So as a quick recap, to find the common difference, we take negative 2 and we add 3 d's, solve for d, then use that result in combination with the first term and the formula from the formula booklet for arithmetic sequences, substitute in the term that we are given, and solve for n, giving us 2001.